How about that paint job, huh? Pretty happy to have that done. Got my stand built this weekend. It has removable prop protection. Need that to be legal for racing. But I figured, what good is it if you can't access your prop to work on it? color scheme I went with was orange, white, and natural. I left some of the boat natural and went with turquoise accents, pinstripes, some of the lettering, stripes on the canopy, the rear sponsons. I left the Bottom section natural. Bottom part of the tub. Bottom of the rear shoes. Transom. Here's a shot of the bottom. What's left natural. It's a big boat. 38 inch boat. That stand to end to end is 40 inches long. Made some extra work for myself here. I cut my boom tubes too short. That meant I get to do this twice, manufacture these twice, and solder them in the boat. It also meant I had to drill these twice Here's my cable system. Basically it means the sponsor stay attached to the tub if I break the boom tubes. Keep the tub from sinking. So I ran the cables on the back of the boom tubes with a little heat shrink tubing to keep them in place. Keep the aerodynamics clean. I really like these latches. Spring loaded. I put a mark on them so you can see which way the pin is aligned. Those pins right here on the bottom side. They have to align with these slots, these latches. Here's one I nailed. Just trust it. I tested how much to fill. And look at that. That's getting, getting it right. Flotation, extra flotation for the tub, and if the canopy ever separates, she won't go under. With these latches, very critical to get them square. So, here's two reasons why this part that goes into the male part that goes into the female part that being the female if it's not square that will bind it's a close fit you can even see where you go to pull it off and it binds pull it off crooked and then the other part of it having to be square is this part right here if uh that piece down inside there's crooked this knurl will actually bind on the ID that, that goes in so you can see how that's nice and free to me handy is functional so I'll probably use tape but 
I wanted a mechanical connection also. So you push them down, you gotta line up the that line, the pin inside, push them down, turn them, and the spring engages and holds it on. I'll show you how I made this prop protection removable. To remove it, it's two screws. tight fit so this doesn't slop around. Get wooden dowels. Wooden dowels and matching holes. So I made this stand from 316 Luan plywood. It's not the highest quality stuff soft actually so I have 30 second plywood bell motors in here so it's a fairly tight fit on the wooden dowels but the other part of it is this paint is not a hundred percent cured it's still a little when it sits together for a bit it kind of tacky but then I didn't want to change my fit here on these uh, this is being bare wood so I put CA the q-tip here and here and after that dried it just got a little bit tighter and it's nice and I like it so you can see this um, epoxy paint it's pretty tough pretty hard stuff but I was asked by a member on the OSC forum on my build thread about how flexible this paint is, and I'll demonstrate. Here's the rear cover, it's fiberglass, and I'll flex it about as far as I dare to flex the fiberglass. You can see. Tough, and it's flexible. You cannot tell me it's not a wicked looking turn fin. So, that's a wrap. That's where I am with my build. Spring for us in the North Country, we don't get ice out till end of April. <laughs>